Okay. Okay, so just start standing with your feet comfortably under your hips, toes pointed forward. <clears throat> Taking our shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Nice big rolls forward, up, back, and down. Yeah. Nice and big and slow rolls. And then next time our shoulders go down, we can just relax them there, leave them there. Kind of let your tailbone drop. So we're standing our tall spine here. We're gonna lift all of our toes, spread them back down, and then let your heels float up as you inhale. Taking a nice full breath and exhale back down. So with the arms, if you want, you can also like just float the arms up. So lifting up onto the balls of the feet as we inhale and exhale down. Using this opportunity to really start to breathe really fully. We feel a little grounded and centered in our body. Right, and balance a little bit here. Exhale down. Good, one more time. Lifting up a little higher if you can. And lower back down. Letting your weight shift to whatever leg you want to. Lift the other leg in front and hold and breathe. Staying nice and tall and lower that foot down, shifting the weight over, float your other knee in front. You can always hold on to something if you need to and stay nice and lifted as we breathe or go in and out of the balance, of course, if you need to. <laughs> Good. And lower that foot down. Great, and let's just circle our hips nice and big. Let your joints move as big as we can. And then we'll circle the other direction. Yeah, letting everything kind of loosen up here. All right, and then coming to center, bringing our arms out from our shoulders. Letting the tailbone sort of curl under a little bit so our rib cage is over our pelvis and staying tall as we let our rib cage slide side to side as if somebody were pulling our arm, right? So the pelvis is nice and anchored and the legs and we're just shifting side to side. Yeah, feeling that little loosening up of our rib cage from our hips. And then coming to center, just resting your fingertips on your shoulders. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. And back to center. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Good. And center. And then right arm by our side, left arm to the ceiling. We're going to Stretch our arms away from each other and just lengthen a little bit here, lengthening the side. And switch. Reaching the right arm for the ceiling, left arm for our foot, lengthen. Good. And bringing that arm back down. Okay, go ahead and come to the end of your mat or wherever you want to be, and we're going to roll down, take a nice full breath, and then letting our head and shoulders and arms relax as we roll down, and <clears throat> letting the knees bend and straighten a little bit here, the hands might be on the ground, they might not be. Then letting the knees bend if they need to, to stack back up. So arms heavy, shoulders heavy. Right. We're gonna stack all the way back to the top where we were. And then 
Inhale, exhale, peeling off of that invisible wall as we roll down again and hang. Really grounding and straightening the knees or whatever feels good to you. And then we'll walk our hands away from our feet into a pike or down dog, letting the knees be just a little bent here, lifting the tailbone, okay, and then moving around as we stretch our heels down. We might let our weight shift side to side. And lifting that tailbone to stretch our backside. Might rock forward and back, up a little bit to the toes and back to the heels. Releasing our head and neck. And then <clears throat> more distance between our hands and feet to come into either a high plank or a little bit lower, a regular plank, whatever feels good to you, anywhere that feels good to you here. And just taking a couple deep breaths. And we'll lower down to the mat, either slowly or just bring your knees down if you want and come around onto our back. So bring the feet close to the hips, line with our sits bones, make your body relax. Good. Taking a nice, a nice deep breath. We're gonna Exhale and curl the tailbone up, peel the spine up off of the mat into a bridge. Great. And at the top of the bridge, relaxing our shoulders, pressing our hips up, we'll bring our arms over our head and relax them on the floor. Good, and inhale. As you press the hips up and exhale, melt the spine down. And then arms back by our side, we inhale and exhale up again, peel off the mat. And arms go up over the head and relax on the floor. We inhale here and exhale, melt the spine down. And then arms come back down by our side and we inhale, exhale, peel off the mat. So just feel this nice fluid movement of our spine. Arms go over our head as we inhale and exhale, melt down. And then arms come back by our side and exhale up. Great, and we'll bring our arms over our head and relax them as we inhale and melt your spine down on your exhale. This time we'll leave our arms over our head, relaxed on the ground. As we our hips come down, just let your knees sway over to one side and let them lift up and sway over to the other side. Let your arms relax up here. And then a couple more sways. Good. Let the low back get a little movement here. The low spine. Yeah. And then next time our knees come to the top, their feet in line with our sits bones, go ahead and bend your elbows, clasp your hands behind your head. So hammock for our head, lengthen, lift the elbows a bit, inhale. And then as we exhale, pressing our rib cage into the mat to lift our head and shoulders up. And then inhale, lie back down. Check and make sure your glutes are not tensing up as you inhale, exhale up. 
Inhale back down, nor is your neck. <laughs> Good. That's the inhale. Now we exhale up. This time we're going to come up and reach for our legs, grab hold of our thighs. See if we can pull ourselves a little bit higher, right? Just a little bit. And then hands behind the head. We stay here and exhale back down. So we're going to warm up our abs like that. Inhale, exhale, press up, reach and grab hold of the thighs, pull a little higher and stay here as we. Bring our hands behind our head and exhale back down. A nice deep breath. Exhale up. Reach again, grab hold, lift a little bit more. Hands behind the head and exhale down. Good, nice deep breath. Exhale up again. Reach and grab hold of your thighs again and then pull the legs up one at a time. So we're in the tabletop position, hands behind the head and lie back down. Great. Nice deep breath. Exhale, press the head and shoulders up. And then with our feet flexed, we're going to reach one heel away from us to touch down and exhale that leg back up. And then inhale, the other heel reaches away and exhales back up, <laughs> inhales away, exhales up. <laughs> like your legs are breathing. Okay, inhale that leg, inhales away and it exhales up. <laughs> Two more, exhale back, inhale away. Try to check and make sure your neck isn't tensed. And then when your legs are up, relax your head down for a moment. You can also let your legs relax for a moment if you want. Just kind of let them take a moment here. Yeah. And then we're coming back up. So legs and tabletop, inhale, exhale, press up. And with our feet flex, we're gonna stretch through our right heel, unbending that right leg as we inhale, exhale, bend it. Inhale, unbend that left leg, reaching through your left heel and inhale it back in. Right, so stretching out at an angle and inhale, that knee bends. Exhale, stretch out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch out. Good, last one. This time when your knee bends, take another rest. <laughs> I, I'm feeling like it's Monday. Okay, we're just resting more. <laughs> Because we didn't do anything on Monday. Okay, so then we bring our legs back up. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to press up, extend through that right heel and turn to the left, right? So right elbow points toward the left knee. Come back to center, lie back down. As you inhale, exhale, extend through that left heel, turn to the right, looking back. Everything comes center as we lie back down on our inhale. Again, keep going. Exhale, stretching through that right heel. Turn back to center, lie down. Exhale, press up, extend through the left heel. Rotate back to center, lie down. Maybe we can do two more as we press up. If we look behind our left elbow, back to center, inhale. One more, exhale, press up and stretch through that heel, rotate. Good, back to center, lie back down. And now go ahead and hug your knees. Relax and rock the body around. Feeling like we're warming up a little bit here. <laughs> and um, let's stretch our legs straight up to the ceiling. Now, of course, they might not be totally straight, that's fine. <laughs> and reaching our arms. We're going to um, climb that invisible rope. So just kind of reach and let that shoulder drop back down and reach. Yeah, it's like you're climbing, letting your legs be relaxed here as, they, as they're up in the air. And just reach and relax that shoulder, reach. A little stretch through our shoulders.
Great. And then with both shoulders on the ground, rotate your legs so they're open, right? Externally rotate. And then bring your arms over your head, clasp your hands behind your head. Let the legs open apart and just let them hang for a moment. So we get a little stretch, a little hip opening stretch. And bring the legs back together, still externally rotated, heels together, bend your knees. So you're in frog, right? Knees open, toes pointed out. Pull the heels in as you inhale. Exhale, stretch out to those heels. And then you're gonna open your legs apart, circle them around and back to the ceiling to bring them together. Lie back down as you bend your knees. Okay, so we're doing like a frog with a circle. Okay, <laughs> inhale, pull it in. Exhale, stretch out, heels, point your toes, open the legs apart, circle up to the ceiling, bringing the legs back together and lie back down as you bend the knees. Good, inhale, exhale, press up, point the toes, open the legs, circle them back to the top, heels together, lie down, and pull those heels in. Exhale, press up. Good, pointing the toes open. And then stay up if you can. Bring the legs together, but keep the head and shoulders lifted. Lower the legs back down. Point the toes, open the legs apart, circle them around and back together. Flex the feet, lower down. Point the toes, open apart. Draw a circle back to the top. Heels together one more time, flex the feet lower down, point and open and circle back to the top and bring the legs together, lie down, bend the knees and relax your, your body just for a moment, hug your knees, walk around if you want. And then with our legs in frog, position. So heels together again and knees and open, toes pointed out, arms by up from our shoulders, right? So we're going to kind of press those heels together so they stay tightly together and take your legs over to one side, anchoring your shoulders. Exhale them back to the top. And then inhale over to the other side. Shoulders stay anchored and exhale back. Just swaying side to side, keeping those heels together and the legs in this position. Exhale back, inhale to the side, and using our exhale to lift. Just a couple more sways over. Good. And one more time. Or make sure you're even on both sides. And then when you come back to the top, let your legs come together, bend, I mean, cross your ankles and let your legs relax, right? So they're still up, knees relaxed here. Clasp your hands behind your head, inhale, exhale, press the head and shoulders up off the ground and then inhale. As we exhale, we try to bring our knees towards our head, lifting our hips a little bit off the mat, right? So Exhale, as you exhale, curl the tailbone up, little lift without using your legs. Legs are just hanging out. You're not doing anything. Wait. Lift that tailbone a little bit. As a matter of fact, let your legs be as heavy as you can, right? So we're really using our low belly muscles, pelvic floor, all that good stuff. Okay, go ahead and relax, hug your knees. And then just taking hold of our feet and coming into a little happy baby. So if you, 
can reach your feet <laughs> and just rock a little side to side, maybe even pulling your knees kind of down to help open that hip a little bit. And maybe straightening the legs a little more to a little bit of a straddle, rocking that way. Massaging our back, right? And our kidneys and all that stuff back there is getting a little massage. Okay, and then coming to center and bringing our feet together, we're gonna hold on to our left foot, stretch our right arm and leg out and reach through your heel, stretching that side, stretching arm and leg away from each other. Pull that side together, stretch your left side out. So reaching through your heel, your arm, big stretch. And then reaching through both arms and both legs, we're gonna do a little reach from side to side reach. Stretch through our heels and arms. And then relax and open the legs a little wider. Open the arms wider. And then feet flex. Take one hand over to the other arm and stretch across. Toward your fingers, pulling yourself onto your side. Yeah, big spiral stretch. And then coming back onto our back and over to the other side. Good. And then a couple more times, maybe getting a little more stretch on the second one as we stretch away from that foot and pull ourselves toward onto our side. And to the other side, feeling a stretch through our side body and shoulders. And then when you come onto your back, you can bring your legs together, sweep the arms down, and you might wedge your hands under the low back to help you roll up. And then when we come up to sitting, we're just going to um, extend our legs out in front, lift the sits bones, and then bring the pelvis forward over the leg. So your knees might be bent when you do that, right? You want to bring the pelvis forward first, and then relax over your legs. So if the knees are bent, that's okay. Want to let that. You don't want to be stretching from this position, right? You want to be stretching. All right, and then taking, uh, if you want to use a strap or a band at this point, we'll go ahead and um, grab hold of our right foot. So either your hands or an implement. <laughs> Pull that leg towards you, flatten your back. Just a little stretch here. As best as you can get that knee straight, right? And then coming onto our back. Like I said, it feels like Monday we got to stretch more today. All right. <laughs> so giving this leg a stretch and bend and straighten the knee. You want anchoring that left leg. And Flex and point your foot, move your foot around. Really stretching through that left leg to help us get a stretch in our right leg. And then getting um, the leg as straight as we can with that uh, foot flexed, taking it across the body it might, mine, like mine's only going a couple inches right now, right? But the main thing is you wanna keep your knee straight, keep your knee from bending, and you'll really feel that stretch through that IT band. And so just breathe here. 
So your leg doesn't have to go very far or it might be able to go farther, but just feel the stretch and breathe. Haven't done, if we haven't done this in a while, it might not, your leg might not go very far. I haven't done it for a few days. <laughs> okay, and then we'll lift up and open the leg out, keeping it high and straight out to the side with our left hip down. Maybe you've got a strap or a band, you can kind of tug on that leg. And then lifting up to the ceiling with the foot sole of the foot facing the ceiling, pull your knee down toward your armpit, lunging on your back, right? So like you're lunging on your back, really stretch to your left leg. Good for the hip flexors and the groin. And then straightening the leg, we're gonna do a few circles. So you might have a band and you, that you wanna use, but if you don't, you can have your arms out from your shoulders and take that leg across, sweep it all the way down, around, and land at the top. So knee can be bent, but your left leg is anchored as you circle your right leg and relax your shoulders, right? So use your breath. And it's totally fine to have your knee bent even at a 90 degree angle, right? Because it doesn't have to be straight. All right, and then when we come to the top, we'll reverse our circles, out, down, across, and up. Using our breath. Good. So we're doing four or five circles each direction. And then when you finish your circles and come to the top, we're going to gather up your band or band if you're using it, grab your leg, lift your head and shoulders. You can bend your knee if it's hard for you to rock up or leg straight, right? And rock up. And then when we come to the top, we switch to our left leg. If you're using a band or a strap. I recommend a strap for stretching better than a band if you're really tight. Back of the leg, okay? <laughs> Flatten the back, lift that leg, give it a stretch here. And then we'll my, uh, find our way all the way down and Really stretch that right leg on the mat, anchoring it down as you stretch your left leg. Bend and straighten. You can move your foot. Flex and point. Move it side to side, whatever feels good for your foot and ankle. And then getting our leg as straight as we can, foot flexed, taking it across the body, finding that stretch that goes up our leg into our hip and stop and breathe. You might be able to go a little farther, might not, that's okay. Just breathe into that stretch. Try to keep your knee from bending. Really important for the health of our sacrum, the stretch. All right, and then we're gonna lift up, open it out to the side, leg high, straight as we can, right hip down. Also just bend your right knee and kind of open it out to the side. A lot of people do the stretch that way. Something, whatever keeps your right hip down. And then lifting that leg up with the sole of our feet facing the ceiling, we pull our knee down 
towards our armpit like we're lunging on our back. Yeah, really stretch through your right leg. Feel that hip flexor stretch. And then we'll straighten the leg. If you have a band and you want to use it, great. Or you can have your arms out from your shoulders. We're going to take the leg across, sweep it down, exhaling around and back to the top. And again, knee can be as bent as it needs to be. Right. Take that big circle, anchoring the right leg. I'm trying to straighten my leg, but it won't straighten. So I totally understand those of you that have the tight hamstring. Okay, and then after four or five, you can do it out your own. Take it the other direction, out, down, across, and lift. Shoulders relaxed. Use our breath. This is really an exercise where you really use your breath, right? Well, a lot of them are bodies, but this one I find especially. And then when you finished your circles, we're going to lift our head and shoulders and use our leg to lower, either lower it down or bend your knee and press into your hands, right? And come up, whatever works for you. I know it's not always easy to rock up. <laughs> okay, so um, bending our legs so they're half bend, right? Sit tall, but half bend so that you can sit tall, legs in front, um, in line with our hips. We're going to reach our arms to the ceiling here and lifting our spine. So lifting tall as we reach on the inhale, and then bringing your arms forward as you exhale, you're going to curl the tailbone and just round back to your sacrum, right? And then inhale. Exhale, round back up, reach the arms and lift on your inhale. Good, bring the arms forward and exhale back, shoulders relaxed. Again, just about halfway. Inhale, exhale, round up, and then stacking the spine, we lift the arms. Good, inhale, and exhale, round back. Now stay here. Turn to the left, so both arms go to the left side, come back to center, and exhale up. And lift the arms, inhaling, exhaling, rounding back part way. Turn to the right, so both arms go to the right, back to center, and exhale up. Again, lifting, so you get this flow going. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round back, turn to the left. Legs don't move, back to center, and lift up, and inhale, tall. Exhale, rounding back, turn to the right, back to center, pulling ourselves up. We're going to add another piece. So inhale as we lift. Exhale, we curl back just about halfway. And then you're going to turn to the left and straighten your left leg. So it just unbends here. It's next to your right leg. So, and then coming back to center, bring that foot down and exhale up. So we're just adding that one more piece. Lifting as we inhale. Exhale, rounding back a little bit. Turn to the right and straighten your right leg and bring everything center, that foot goes down and back up. So one, two more. So we're gonna lift on our inhale, exhale, shoulders relax as we just curl back a bit. Turn to the left, straightening your left leg. Back to center, that foot goes down, exhale up, inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, curl back, turn to the right, extend your right leg, and back to center, lower that foot, and exhale up. 
Good. When you come to the top, relax your arms. <laughs> Bring your feet a little closer into you. Hug your knees or underneath your thighs, wherever you can reach. Hug your shins, I mean, or underneath your thighs. And just kind of pull yourself in your knees into you and round your back and take a little stretch here. Good, and come out of that. And we're just gonna do a few roll-ups, just however you like to do them. If you like your legs to be bent or bend and straighten them, or just doing a few and just going back as far as you wanna go. So don't feel like you have to go all the way back. So round back, but you can. <laughs> and you can also sweep your arms around and reach for your feet to roll back. Okay? That might be a nice way to warm up. So just a few times, inhale. Exhale, round back. Maybe you go arms over and sweep around. And exhale. Okay, and just letting your breath help you articulate your spine, right? Shoulders stay relaxed, nice and smooth. And whenever you finish the one you're on, you can take your time, stay at the, the top and widen your legs into whatever amount of a straddle feels good to you, how wide you wanna be there. And just bring your hands between your legs on the ground. We'll just um, stretch forward here and just slide your hands out toward your feet and then stack the spine back up. Let the hands slide in and slide out. Just that a, just a few times, right? Let's sliding the arms out and sliding them back in. And sliding them out. a little spine movement and stretch. And then when you come back, you can bring your um, legs together and roll onto our back. Bring our arms over our head. And with our arms and legs together, roll our whole body onto our side. So nice and smoothly. <laughs> So you're kind of at the front end of edge of your mat, likely if you're on a mat. And you could just have your hand on the ground um, in front of you or wherever you want to put your top hand. Glue the legs together, inhaling. As you exhale, float the legs up. Keep them tight together. Float your head off of your arm. Good. Keep those legs tight together and lower back down. So what we'll do is we'll inhale as we lower down and we'll exhale up. So nice deep breath, exhale, press up, float the legs tight together, inhale, lower back down. Good, nice full breath, exhale, press up as you float the legs, the head just presses up a little bit off of that arm. Inhale, lower back down and exhale up. Good, inhale, lower down. One more time, exhale, float the legs up. Good, and lower back down. Good, and then let your knees bend into a half bend. We're gonna go ahead and press ourselves up onto our elbow and make sure that your heels are lined up with your sits bones or your tailbone, I mean, knees are stacked. And then we're gonna take this top arm, we're gonna open the knee, lift, kind of pull yourself up by lifting with that arm. And then on our exhale, knee closes, we're gonna round through, right? So inhale, open, lifting the knee and lifting the arm. Exhale, close and round. 
rib cage rotates around our spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, close and round. We're going to be adding to this. So you're going to inhale, open, extend that leg, just unbend it, bend it, close and round. Now, if you want to lift your hips off the mat, that's a whole nother piece. You're going to open, lift the hips and extend and then bend. If that's doable, close and round. There's a lot of coordination here. So we open and lift, maybe the hips extend, bend, lower, close, and round. Good. Nice deep breath. Maybe the hips up, extend, bend, lower, and down. And then this last one, we're going to stay up. Your hips can be up or down, whatever. You're going to do one two, three, <laughs> four, only five, five. And then when you bring your heels together, lower down, knees relax, round through. Good, and then go ahead and come on up to sitting with your legs next to you if that's possible or whatever works and <laughs> take a little side stretch. And then we'll um, stretch that hip. But you know, whatever stretching feels good to you, whether you want to do a longer side stretch or do more of a hip stretch, just taking a moment to um, do a little stretch that feels good. And maybe the head and neck move around. Yeah. Just taking a moment to give our body a little stretch here. Okay. Like I said, a moment, not very long. All right. <laughs> And we're going to come onto our other side. So we're going to roll onto our back to start with. And just bringing yourself onto your back with your arms, legs together, roll on your side. And then this top hand could be on the floor, or if you prefer to have it somewhere else, you're going to glue the legs together as we inhale. Exhale, float them up, floating our head off of our arm. Good, and lower back down. So we're gonna inhale as we lower and exhale as we lift up. So exhaling up, inhale, lower down, nice deep breath. Exhale, float up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, float up. Good, inhale down, a couple more. So we get our side body all sort of woken up here, exhaling up. You also will feel your inner thigh leg muscles on that lower leg, right? Exhale, last one up. And lower down and then let your knees bend Come up to your elbow. And again, that half bend with the, with the knees, elbow under the shoulder. So finding your position, right? Lift that arm and lift the knee. So finding your um, heel resting on your bottom heel, top heel, and then close and round through. So inhale, open and lift. Really open that knee. Exhale, close round through. Good, inhale, open, lift, exhale. Following that arm with your head is probably more comfortable <laughs> than, than anything, right? If you follow, your neck will be more comfortable. Exhale, and then we're gonna add the extension of the leg. So we open and then extend, bend, close, round through. And maybe you wanna lift your hip. So if you wanna lift your hip as you open, off the ground, Extend, bend, lower. Good, keep going. Open, lift, 
Extend, bend, but keep going, lift, <laughs> unbend that knee. This side's a lot harder for me to lift my hip. So this time we're gonna stay up. So if you your hip is up off the ground, great. But if not, that's okay. Unbend, two, three, four, I believe these are called donkey kicks, five. <laughs> and then we're gonna let that knee relax, lower the hips if they're up, round through. Good, and come up to sitting with your legs next to you or wherever they can be. Make a little side stretch. This one's a little challenging. I think I can bend the side. And then we can also explore a little hip stretch. So you want to just cross that top leg over. You might do a seated figure four like I'm doing, or you might just stack your knees and fold forward. Whatever feels good. Come on to your back. Yeah. However you like to do your hip stretch. <laughs> on the side. We might move our head and neck around and Okay, and then we're going to come on to our all fours for a little bit. So coming around and you might have padding under your hands or under your knees, right? Whatever you like to do, spread the fingers wide. And we'll start by curling the tailbone under as we let our back around. You might like pressing back to your heels a little bit too to get another stretch and then lifting up and arching arch and then curling tail and rounding maybe press back a bit and lifting up and arch just moving the spine And the next time you come into your arch, bring yourself to neutral. And we'll um, tuck our toes into the mat. Inhale. As we exhale, we're just going to round our back, lift our knees, lower the knees, and come into an arch. Good. Exhale, curl the tailbone round the back, lift the knees. Lower and arch. And one more time, curl under, round the back, lift the knees. And lower and come into an arch. And then we're going to come neutral and stretch one leg back. If you'd like to, you can be on your forearms. Other leg back, coming into a nice plank here. Or you might be on your knees in a half plank. Good. Just breathe. Whoops. Off, off my mat. <laughs> breathe. If you want to add a little push up, right, just let your elbows bend and straighten a little bit. It right? doesn't have to be very much, but that's an option. A little bend. Of course, if you're on your in your on your forearms, that won't work. <laughs> All right, now we'll bring our knees down and onto the mat. Stretch back to your heels. Relax your arms and your wrists here.
And then we're going to um, slide onto our belly. So coming onto your belly, you might like a something under your chest for support, right? A little pillow or a folded up blanket or something like that. And actually starting out with our elbows under our shoulders and sphinx. Yeah. And then with our palms face down, we're going to straighten our arms and you might adjust them. They're just kind of flattening, I mean, drawing the shoulders down. Down the back, straighten the arms here, looking forward, and then looking at your belly. And looking forward. Good. And then looking down, just so that your head's in line with your spine, lift your left leg, try to lift it. <laughs> and relax it, and then lift your right leg. And relax it. Now lift both legs. Good. And then what we'll do is we'll bend our elbows, let them bend, and then press back up. So keep your legs kind of reaching and lifting, and bend and press up. So kind of lowering down and pressing back up, right? Doing a little bit of a rock on our belly. Really keeping the legs lifted as much as you can. And then relax everything down. You're going to have your um, arms straight out from our shoulders in a T position. So looking, looking down, straight down like that. And we're going to keep our arms pressing into the ground and just lift your head and chest off the mat, however high your head and chest lift. And then lift your left arm, just kind of float it up and hold. And lower down, relax. And again, pressing the head and chest up. Float your right arm off the, off the ground and hold. And relax everything down. And again, pressing the head and chest up, float both arms up off the ground. And then point your hands to your feet, reach for your feet, pull the shoulders back and lift up a little higher. Right, so we're in dart, called in Pilates. Keep the shoulders pulled back, good. And then bring your arms back out to T position. And then bring your arms over your head, pull the elbows in toward the waist. So we really pull our arms in and down and hold and lower back down. And then pressing the head or lifting the head and shoulders up right, the head and chest, however high they go with your arms on the ground. Just float your arms, good. And we're gonna reach overhead, we're gonna reach like we're gonna pull something, right? Grab something and pull it. Pull your elbows down and open your legs apart. So pulling the elbows in and then reaching over our head, legs together, pull the elbows in, legs open apart. And again, reach overhead, grab and pull, open the legs. One more time, reach, legs together, legs apart as you pull the elbows in and relax down. That's a lot of back work, there we go. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and press yourself up, maybe coming through swan and up onto the knees. If you can be on your knees and back into a child's pose, stretch. So I'm sitting back to the heels, stretching our back. Uh, 
Oh, good. That was some good back strengthening and spine strengthening. Good. If I have to say the most, probably if I have to choose the most important thing to, to do in a Pilates class, it's the back work, right? That's probably the most important. Of course, it's all important. But okay, <laughs> come around to um, sitting again. So I want to just bring ourselves on to sitting on our mat this way, lengthwise. And grab hold of your right leg. You're just going to round back. Your rib cage is on the mat. Stretch that leg. Good. And then draw your left leg up. Grab hold. And stretch your right leg down. And stretch. And we're just going to scissor the legs here. Okay, really give it a stretch and switch. And switch. And switch. Good, breathe. And then whatever leg is up, whatever leg is down, stay there, bring your hands behind your head, support your head. And then we're gonna switch and rotate. So if the right leg is up, we look to the right. Left leg is up, we look to the left. Good. And I realize this might be hard to keep your legs straight, in which case you can bend your knees or you can do whatever you want. Doesn't really matter, right? A little rotation though. Good. And then both legs up, relax down, hug your knees. And then if you're able to rock, rock on your back, do so to come up. Otherwise, you can come up a different way. But you can do a little rocking, right? A little rolling to come up. That's great. <laughs> and then sitting with our, our legs in a, a straddle. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to throw that in. Okay, so sitting with your legs in a straddle, we're going to just take hold of our right leg. So just bend it and lift it up like that. Now that we're stretched out, and take your left hand to the outside of your foot. Right, grab hold. Right hand behind you to support you, and lift the spine and rotate. So twist to the back. Your knee might be bent, that's okay. Just as straight as it'll go. And then just take a twist here. And then facing forward, switch hands. So that right hand's on the inside, left hand's back, and we twist to the left, which is probably easier. <laughs> And coming back to center, lower that leg down, and we'll pick up our left leg. So bend it, bring it up, and the right hand to the outside of your foot, left hand behind you, so it can help support you. Take a turn to the left, twist to the left. Again, your knee might be bent, that's okay. Get more emphasis on the twist, right? And then facing forward, we grab hold of the inside of our foot. And this right hand comes back. Take a twist to the right. Just a fancy twist. <laughs> All right. And then coming back to center and facing forward, lower that leg down. Bring your feet together in a diamond shape with the legs and just stretch forward. Right, 
then you just can kind of bring yourself up whenever you want. Thank you for coming, everybody. I'm going to hit the button here. There we go.